Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Carissa Shaylin, and I am a mom to an almost seven month old, Colton. He's down there, playing in his walker, everything fun. Um, and a wife to a mechanical engineer. And if you're a returning subscriber, well, thank you and welcome back and super awesome to have you. So today is a day in the life vlog. I'm gonna um, get dinner started. Yes, it is eight in the morning and I have to start dinner. I'm doing a crock pot. Um, today's gin day, so it's really easy just to have a crock pot day. Get it all put in the thing, get it started, and walk away. Um, today, we are also going to the mall. The new Lush Christmas dropped a few days ago, and I am out of bath bombs. And Christmas is my favorite like season for Lush because they have the snow fairy, and it just smells so so yummy. So I'm super excited to go and get that, and then. Um, also kind of start a little bit of Christmas shopping only because I don't like to rush it. So we'll look around, see what else we can find. You want to say hi to the peeps, Bubba's? Mm. Say hello. Mm. <laughs> Are you off and away with your starfish? See? Oh, all that slobber. Num, num, num. So I figured I'd just throw together the crock pot with you guys. Um, you can see what's going on. I have Casey's birthday present right here. We're going, her birthday was yesterday, November 4th. So we have this birthday party that we're going to for her over the weekend. So we have her gift going. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna set you guys down like my 80s crock pot. I wasn't even born in this era, but I have one. Um, this has been in a lot of different, my mom had it first, then it was my brother's. My brother gave it back to my mom and I've had it ever since. Definitely need a new one. The downfall with this is it it doesn't come out, so it's really just a terrible thing to cook or like clean. But it still works and it works really well. So with that being said, we're gonna make a crock pot chicken. Um I made this last week. It's a three ingredient crock pot chicken um but ricky said it was good but it could use some potatoes and carrots so i'm gonna throw some potatoes carrots and some onion in it just for the flavor i'm gonna keep the onion pretty thick chunk so that um it's easy just to like throw off to the side but the flavor is nicely in there Okay, so I have two skinless um, chicken breast. Um, this came out to be a little over a pound and a half. There's only two people with us, so me and Ricky, because little man doesn't really eat this stuff yet. So I have two of these. I have grated Parmesan. I have Olive Garden's Italian dressing. I have three carrots. I'm not sure how many I'm gonna use quite yet. 
I have half an onion. This was leftover. I made this like that beef noodle soup thing again, but I only used half an onion instead of a full one. And then I have some red potatoes. Um, and here I have eight. We'll see if I use all eight or not. I mean, this crock pot is pretty small, so we'll see. So I'm literally just gonna dump the chicken right in. dump this whole thing of Italian dressing in. A cup of the grated parm. Yeah, Bubba's. If you want a little bit more, that's up to you. No big deal. I kind of just measure it just for the sake of measuring it I think and then just mix it all together Peel my carrots. And I'm going to leave them in like decently nice chunks just so that they don't get all mushy those carrots fit nicely now for some potatoes yeah bubble so I'm just gonna chop these in half so that they're a little bit smaller to cook down I don't think we can really put much more in here. I am gonna cut up the onion for a little. I might not do the onion actually. No, I'm not gonna. Cause the Italian dressing is gonna be just enough flavor. So just pour that right on top. Colton, Colton, Colton. So I'm just going to put that right on top, all the dressing, let it float to the bottom, 
So it's all nummy, 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 nummy. Kind of just move it a little bit just so we kind of... So that's what it looks like. I'm going to throw the lid on, turn it on low, turn it on low and just let it cook. Bam! So it gets all nice and soft and cook and yummy and we'll see how it goes. I don't think it will taste bad because like the chicken by itself did not taste bad. It just needed a little bit more um, feel like filling and a little bit flavor so not flavor flavor but like those vegetables that you think of like with a crock pot so it should be pretty good i will check back with you guys later he's gonna go down for a nap here shortly and then we'll be off to lush in the mall and everything see you guys later all right y'all um i just put colton down for a nap uh, we just got back from the mall. Um, Bath and Body Works, their Christmas line just came out. and Our holiday line, whatever you want to call it. And Lush's holiday line just came out as well. So I'm going to show you what I got. And yeah, should be fun. I'll start with Bath and Body Works because that's the closest one to show So they had a 20% off coupon, so everything I got was like $45. Um, I did the little wall fresheners were 5 for 23 today. I got one that's called Perfect Christmas. Maybe. Perfect Christmas and does it have the notes? So the fragrant notes are fresh cut pine, cinnamon, sugar, and toasted marshmallow. Um, I am a sucker for anything Christmas tree. So the fresh balsam is absolutely my favorite. Um, I literally probably keep on hand probably about six to seven candles of the fresh balsam. Yeah, that's how crazy I am about that scent. Um, so they had a new scent this year called Mahogany Blossom, or, or Balsam. Let's see, there we go. Very cute packaging. And it's Juniper Berry Fresh Balsam Mahogany Wood. So it felt more like Christmas tree slash like woodsy not just like the Christmas tree so I got like three of those Oops. and then the very vanilla being no well so the vanilla being no well I absolutely love this one Vanilla bean, marshmallow fluff, and vanilla cake. So I totally think it smells like a sugar cookie. More so than any of their other ones that say cookie on them. But that's just me. Um, I got one candle. It's new this season. It's the Spice Gingerbread. There it is. Look how cute that is. It has like... The gingerbread it has a house the tree it was so cute this year and the fa fragrance notes is vanilla icing cinnamon sugar fresh ground nutmeg and essential oils and I would say it smells a little bit more towards the frosting side than it does on the like molasses -y gingerbread side that's why I liked it it wasn't like too strong of the molasses and then I got uh so Christmas is my favorite time of the year without a doubt no questions no exceptions um 4th of July is my favorite holiday but Christmas is my favorite time of the year 
it's more of not just a like day like fourth of july i feel is more of a day not a, a feeling so like december i don't really care for thanksgiving so we can just throw that holiday out so i typically like to actually spend the whole year from like halloween like november 1st comes i'm like it's christmas y'all like let's go santa claus is coming elves the whole nine yards so yeah so i wanted a new hand sanitizer for my purse like holder and they had the abominable snowman like how cute is he and he's like just this big giant snowball fluff so i got him and of course you could just not have a new hand sanitizer without the cute little christmas ones so i got and i'm doing like stocking stuffers with these that's why i did several of the same flavor because i know a lot of people who want this one so this one's the vanilla bean noel it has just a little reindeer I got two of those. I got two of those. I got the Frosted Coconut Snowball. Let's see if it will come in. It just has a little snowman on him. Um, Merry Cookie. Merry Cookie. And then this one I got for my brother because he's obsessed with dinosaurs. And this is, it's called Spread the Cheer and it's a sparkling mint blossom. And I got him a dinosaur holder already for um, just because. And so this will go perfect with it. Little dinosaur with Santa hats. A little dinosaur with little Santa hats on his spikes. How cute is that? So that's everything I got from Bath and Body Works. So from Lush, I'm obsessed with Snow Fairy. Like that scent is magic. It is a cotton candy based scent. Um, but I did get one outside of it and this is the Fireball. It looks like flames, it crackles um, like a fire, it's cinnamon smelling, and it has like, uh, all I can think of is Pop Rocks, but it's not the candy Pop Rocks, but it has like that fizzing pop thing so that it will um, resemble like a crackling fire. Um... I got, he's supposed to be looking kind of like Santa, but it's a magic bar. As you can see, it has different colors, so it will fizz out into those different colors. It smells kind of like candy, but it's more lavender. They have lavender scents in it, so and I'm going to sneeze. I got little powders. <laughs> Sorry y'all. Got little powders up my nose. That was real cute. And my last one is the Snow Fairy Bomb. And it's glitter everywhere. It has a snowflake on one side in pink and then a blue snowflake on the other side. And it just smells literally like sugar like cotton candy which is y'all can't see this but there's literally thousands of little glitter specks just flying all over my office right now and then this year is new they have i don't know if you've ever used the the body conditioner 
Well, they have a harder version of it, and so it's not in the plastic, so you're only using no plastic, and it's just really soft. Like, I can already feel it kind of melting in my hand, but um, it's just the harder version of it, and it's Snow Fairy as well. It smells delightful, and I can't wait to use it in the shower, and it's just a lot softer than just a regular like you leave it on and then you wash it off and it kind of is like a wax coat for your body so that your soft skin comes in so that's my little haul today um that's all I will probably be doing um I am still cooking um yeah, if I don't get back to this vlog, I'm going to end right here. Um, and if I do, then I'll cut this out. But if you like today's video, give it a thumbs up. If you are a fan of crockpot cooking, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Leave your favorite recipe down below. Are you excited for the holidays? Are you ready for all the holiday stuff that's coming out? Um, if so, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't already and you'd like to join our little family here, we like to cook and go to Bath and Body Works and Lush a lot around here. Um, so if you're into those kind of hauls and like to know the new fragrances that are coming out, um, subscribe to the channel, hit that subscribe button down below, hit that notification bell to know when we are posting. And I hope you all have a wonderful, fantastic, awesome day. And be kind to everyone. All right, have a great day, guys. Bye.